want to fight one of them, you have to fight all of them. At the end of the day, yeah. we are family. Yeah, man. All that ruckus right there have to be all that chaos. Bring the ruckus. Bring the ruckus. That's what pays the bill over at, at Viacom right there. That's a carefully calculated, formulaic formula. Mm. <laughs> That's been encapsulated in a show called Florida Shore Coast, ladies and gentlemen. They call it the successor to the Jersey Shore, which made money for years, have to be. Okay. I remember being at MTV, uh, still there, but when Jersey Shore first started and, and having to introduce the whole cast uh, to the entire office place at, at Viacom and then in introduce them to the world. And at that time, nobody knew what the outcome would be. I mean, Vinny, all those dudes were broke, man. They were hungry. Them shoes had holes in it. You, you know, know those what? shirts were wrinkled, <laughs> you know. And then a few years later, you just start reading headlines about them arguing over who's going to make a million or not per episode. It was something really crazy to see. You know, that was just, they thought that was lightning in the bottle right there. Yeah. That it wouldn't happen again. And sure enough, some years later, Right back on MTV, on the same <laughs> network, <laughs> under the same company. Here they are right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first coming. Floribama Shore cast are here, ladies and gentlemen. They're here. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Hey, y'all. You guys are crazy. How are you even standing here and loving each other like this, man? Yeah. It takes a lot. It, it, took it, a lot, lot. It, it took a lot of fighting to get to the love. It took a lot of fighting. Candace, to speak love. on that. First of all, everybody introduce themselves. I'm Amy, a.k.a. Princess Scottish Mermaid. So you really go by that, like, because that says that in your bio. Yeah. I'm trying to change it to my driver's license. Really? Mm -hmm. It's Princess what? <laughs> Say it again, Princess? Princess Scottish Mermaid. Well, and you came up with that yourself? Yeah, like when I was in the first grade and it just stuck. Oh, it's alive. Like, you like that. I like that. Okay. Do you. Go ahead. I'm Nilsa. My mom named me. So. Okay, Nilsa. <laughs> All right. Um, good to meet you, Nilsa. I'm Candice, but I go by Pimp Fried Rice. Pimp Fried Rice? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's flames. Okay, that's court. Go I'm ahead. Courtney with a K O R T and I. My mom can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney was telling me how she wasn't able to blow dryer because I walked by her. I was like, damn, you smell like you fresh out the shower. Fresh out. Yeah, and she didn't blow dry her hair today. Go ahead, look at this fine young man right here. Yeah, yeah. Go hey, ahead, man. I took a shower today. I'm Shit. Gus. My name's Gus. I don't really have any nicknames. Just okay. Gus. Just Gus. All yeah. right. Okay, go ahead. My, my name's Kirk. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, the brawler. Hey, All right, go ahead. Uh, Kodai from South Carolina. So Kodai. Because mm -hmm. I spell my name C O D I. So, so do people say Cody? <laughs> That does that I picture? Answered about Cody Kodai. Because I hit you with the Cody, and you was like, "Yeah, what up, Sway?" <laughs> you didn't care. <laughs> you didn't care. Okay. So it's, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. And uh, I'm Jeremiah Bioni. Jeremiah. Okay, Bioni. Yeah, this is the one you said was the Playboy that hooked up with somebody in the cast. Mm -hmm. That was him. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Who well, was I'll it? I'll plead the fifth on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Who was it he hooked up with? I ain't saying nothing. Oh. I think Wonder the story might have gotten we knows the truth. Bit, you so, know, you clear it up. Stuff. That's why you here. Clear that See, up. I feel like it was the one with the taller hair than me, but uh, oh. I could be wrong. Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. both. They're really pretty, man, you were talking about earlier. Okay. Oh, so you hooked up with somebody. <laughs> I mean, there's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, this way in the morning, man. You hooked up. I mean, we can rewind the tape, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I said. What you say? What you say? I said the Jeremiah's brother came through and hooked up with somebody. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 you home free this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got out of it. At least oh. for now. Okay, it was me. Okay, oh, I wanted to see how it was. He was a barrel chest of freedom fighter, and I could not resist. Okay, okay. And, and he, it was okay. It was okay. It was no re no regrets, too. <laughs> no regrets. Maybe I'll take his brother out for a spin one day. Who knows? Oh, oh. oh. season two. Keep it in the family. Sorry, I'm not gonna do that again. You not you're not gonna do that again. So how's your experience been? I mean, I you know, listen, man. We have to be. I don't know if you know who she is. Let me give you some history. I do. Okay. Thank Have you, Pimp Fry. Right? <laughs> Pimp, Fry. <laughs> Pimp Fry came through. You know, before there was Jersey Shore, all these shows, uh, the Osbournes, all these different things we've had on. 
uh, 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 on MTV, there was Real World, obviously, right? Yeah. And and you know when they describe your show, uh, what they say is a group of individuals who are partying, working, living in a new environment, and bonding, crying and fighting, and all those things. And where they got that blueprint was from her, because she was in the first season of Real World. <laughs> All right, hey. and she was partying, getting arrested, <laughs> fighting, <laughs> drinking. Hey, you ain't yeah, so she's the beginning that uh, you know that that, that, that got us. <laughs> that got us all here right there. It, well, it was. I was telling Sway, and congratulations to you guys, obviously, because it still has to be awesome just to have the experience and get to be on television and all the good things that does come with it. But it was a different time. I'm going back to 1992. When the first season of Real World aired, and now uh, they basically, I, I know, and they basically <laughs> pitched it as a documentary. They wanted to uh, film seven artists in the New York area uh, to come out and live in New York and live together to see how we would, if we could find a common ground. And so it was filmed here in New York City at 565 Broadway. While you guys in New York, go have a chance to go see the lofts. Go right downtown. It's 565 Broadway. And uh, the person that came to furthest was actually from Alabama. Oh. Her name was Julie um, from Alabama, Birmingham. And her and I are still really good friends. In fact, I was the maid of honor at her wedding when she got awesome. married years Aww. ago. So yeah. real friendships and real bonds came from it. But it was a different time. So I know your EP, Drew. Uh, I know Drew and I know everybody that he's been working with. Uh, MTV for a long time and stuff so it's good to see you know it come around I'm happy for you guys yeah, I think it's awesome it. enjoy it like yeah. enjoy it and make as many opportunities well y'all having sex and stuff though uh, <laughs> no because again it was like um, we only stayed in the house for 13 weeks and um, it was it, we were trying to like get <laughs> how, along how long is, is y'all that's a long time, time. <laughs> that's a long time. <laughs> well I heard y'all I heard y'all had a TV is that true we had a, we had television. <laughs> oh, oh, we well, had none. Well, well, that's oh, to my right. point. It was a different time back then because they were filming everything that was happening. Uh, the riots happened. Mm -hmm. um, the, Rodney, the L.A. riots. The L.A. Religion. riots were happening that's before at the time. Their time. This, yeah, yeah, this is before. So Rodney King and everything like that. So having television and watching television was a big part of our daily because we didn't yeah. have the phone thing happening. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. we still had VHS <laughs> and was putting so, stuff so, in. So, so, no, it's true. Yeah. What, what are y'all deprived? of no phone what is it y'all can't nothing yeah, one call, that's the stove. One call, that's the stove. you really no, don't know if it's right or wrong you you only have one clock yeah, yeah. i was old school i was looking at the sun to see where the sun was to see what time it was <laughs> yep Pimp ride, you can read the sun. <laughs> I learned how to read the sun in the house. Yes, okay. I did. So no, no, no videos. No, nothing. No, no internet. No, no, nothing. We had one phone for eight of us. No, so eight yeah. of us. And we we, we broke five phones. Yeah, we broke Nelson five. Broke no, I broke three. Well, we you break all five. How'd you break them? Well, she don't know how to smash them up, down right? when right. she drunk. Well, <laughs> trying to make phone calls, and then my mom won't answer, so pizza then I get mad. Answer. The pizza guy don't answer, so then I get mad again. I spilled a couple drinks on him. Spilled a couple drinks. So, 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 so when y'all would go. I drink it out of the phone. And I looked up that phone on Amazon. It's only eleven ninety nine. That phone wasn't even. They gave you a cheap phone. Yes, it was like TV. TV, man, I tell you. So when y'all would go out and party. Yeah, well, yeah, did they take the clocks out of the venues, or how would you? Or you just wouldn't no, look? We still were able to like listen to music and watch TV there. That was like our only way of actually knowing what was going on in the outside world. To be honest, a lot of times though, they would tell them before we went in to turn everything off. Like if it was during yeah. the day and we'd go to a restaurant or something, they'd make them turn the TVs off, and no music could be playing, none of that stuff. Nothing. I didn't know Cardi B was pregnant until I got out. I asked the producers <laughs> if we was at war. Like I, I had to ask the producer. I was like, "Are we going to war?" Or anything? Like, like, I didn't yet. know what was. I didn't you didn't know, know Cardi I B was pregnant. pregnant? I no, didn't we didn't that. find out nothing. So Man, y'all didn't I didn't find out Kanye dropped didn't. the slave comment. I didn't know none of that. You didn't know the slave thing? No, I didn't know any of this. <laughs> we didn't we know none of that. Drake to say something back. Wow. Oh. Drake to say something back. Damn. Damn. You didn't know if Drake said something back? I know that. <laughs> well, you know now, though, right? Yeah, no, and we had to download all the new music when we got out. It was hard. So y'all yeah. send us a playlist. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what was the first thing you downloaded? The whole new Cardi B. Album. J Cole yeah. album. That was the first oh, thing. Yeah. J Cole. Yeah. Nice, yeah, so for what what? Drake. nice for Nice little for baby. what? Little baby. Yeah. 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 Little baby. Yeah, like little baby. And little, my favorite, little, little Boosie. Little Boosie. <laughs> you already have Little Boosie, oh Amy. God. But I, I downloaded everything. Just this whole album. Wow. We taught her how to do it because they don't play that in Panama City. They don't play that in Panama. So let me ask you this to the fellas. Man, like, how did your um, your female count go up 
after you did this first uh, season. I know that's some chauvinistic. While we were filming or just in general? Like and, and, life and, in general? And, and in general, because you were filming. Oh, it's not hard. And, I mean, it wasn't necessarily that hard before, but now it's just. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that's, that's my man, Gus, right there, sure. baby. Look at him. Look yeah, at him. Yeah. 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 Okay. Kodai, what about you? I, hey, I know it was hard before you, man, before you got the haircut and everything, oh, man. Yeah. Got yeah, the yeah. Guy lights, <laughs> got the guy lights. Got the guy lights. Now they just can't resist. You know, yeah, it is yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. And he be getting them ghetto chicks, too. He get them ghetto hoes. <laughs> Do he? Oh, yeah. What's a yeah. ghetto? Yeah. This, he describe yeah. her attire. You know, so your face is like, yo, for real. Real though, yeah, he likes them with the big old wagons. Yeah, he's the, the, the big booty no, chicks like with the, the body kind dresses uh -huh. and the weaves and the he be getting them hood hoes. Like gold, gold eye, my man. Uh, yeah, like. yeah. Big old wagon. Where, where, where you from? What city are you from? Uh, me. You I'm town. from a small town in South Carolina called Westminster. So mm. you, so you obviously date women of all nationalities. Oh yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't discriminate. You okay. Know. Can you marry? Would you if you of brought course. one to marry? They mm. would crib. Okay, cool. You have to watch and see. I might have took one of these roommates mm. out on a nice date. <laughs> <laughs> he got a Scott Storch vibe. Mm. He got a Scott, a Scott, Scott Storch, Storch vibe? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. How do your parents react? Because, you know, obviously they've seen you guys do all sorts of antics. What has been some reactions? My mom was skeptical at first. But then she saw the opportunity I can get from it and just like, so now she's cool. She's happy with it. But yeah. at first she was kind of like, you better not cuss on TV. You better not have sex on TV. All that stuff. So, you know, she's cool now, though. She was, okay. she was cool with you fighting on TV, though, right? Nah, she was, <laughs> but I've been fighting since I was little. So uh -huh. she's like, all right, that's normal. Just don't do it again on TV. Really? <laughs> My dad said that whenever, because I had this little premiere party whenever it came out last season. And... um it was my dad's birthday, and he saw me pee on this girl's bed. And he was like, well, you know, I can't be mad at her. I peed in a closet because my dad's the Air Force, and he was stationed in Korea. And, you know, that's like the fun stationed area. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he peed quite a lot of that's places. Uh, that's, oh, yes, that was nasty. Family. Can we back that up for a moment? You, you peed on some girls? She peed bed? on my bed. Oh, she peed I, on I thought it was a toilet in my defense. And she my, peed and on my bed. Wait, that was the first night. Of mine. I don't remember. She was black And the lovely, tried to flush. The lovely people in Panama City Beach encourages that behavior. To piss on your bed. That's, that's, a, that's a different but kind of bonding than y'all did, Heather. In my defense, yeah. I pulled my pants down <laughs> and I peed and then I attempted to pull my pants up and then my thong was like hanging halfway out my shorts. It was bad. I don't remember. I thought I was being, <laughs> I love your I thought I was being pranked the entire time until I actually saw it. I about shat myself. Like, <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah. great. All right. This is um, some very intellectual conversation. Though, my parents were not like any other parents. My parents were 100% completely supportive mm. of everything. They were like, you got a, such a great opportunity here and mm -hmm. make the most of it and live yeah. it up because you're young when, once. And what's good about what, to me, what MTV is doing now and some, some of these executive producers with the shows, are they keeping the same cast? You know, you guys get to do a season two together, season three, and possibly you see with Jersey Shore come back years later and do a vacation. Whereas Real World, you really can't compare it because every season it's a different group oh, of people. Right, right. And I think that's what um, changed. You, sh you saw things that's get shit. crazier, yeah. so to speak, because uh -huh. people were coming in and after watching the season before and like, yo, fuck that. I'm going to turn up. If I get picked, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And people were willing to do more. So pe you watch the show change. Well, like, pr the pr pr that, that's a good point. Uh, Princess Goddess Mermaid. Um, <laughs> what kind of like, you know, while y'all, let me give you some advice while you in on this camera, you know, all right. And take, okay, and you're blowing up, you know, um, and she can speak to this. Whatever your other passions are, start setting that stuff up and use this exposure as almost like a, a marketing tool, yeah. Yeah. a mm -hmm. promotional tool. Yeah. So you get those things happening on the side as well, whether it's business, whatever it is, start doing that now. Oh, we working on it. Y'all working on that? Mm -hmm. yeah, get it while it's hot, yeah. yep. you know, okay? Uh, now, you has anybody started any anything? I want to be a rapper. <laughs> Yo, wonder. <laughs> well, uh, you want to be a rapper? Like what? What kind of who? So you like uh, who? Who you like? Boosie. You like Lil Boosie, right? I like Lil Boosie. I like Webby, Yo Gotti, NBA Young Boy, Cardi B. You're not Pastor Troy. What would your <laughs> what, 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 what would your rap name be? Aunt Princess Goddess Mermaid. Drop a beat on her. Sway in the morning. Shade four five. <laughs> Well, you thought you was at Princess Goddess Mermaid. You in the Valley of the Hyenas. Hyena. Here we go. Here we go. 
This hoe done pushed me to my last limit. I'ma fuck her world up in a short minute. Hoes like you ain't no problem. I'll put you in your spot and then I'm gonna rob you. Your police ass needs to stop nagging. Once you look as good as me, then you can start bragging. I get some respect from these dudes out here. Cause Prince has got his mermaid, keep her money in top gear. And if he keep fucking with me, I love him. Cause Florida Bama Shore stay real close and near. We got a hyena. Wow, wow. Okay, you had a you burst ready and everything. All right, cool, cool. No, so what about funny. you? What do, what do you? What do you? Uh, what's your ambition? What's your right now? You just chilling. Well, I'm really passionate about makeup, so I want to do something along the lines of that, maybe create a foundation, because I have really, like, acne-prone and oily skin, mm -hmm. so I want to do um, a cosmetic line that caters to that, as well as, you know, for all skin types. Yeah. Okay, cool. What What is your um, ethnicity? What's, what is... So, my mom is full Panama Panamanian. She's from Panama, uh -huh. and then my dad is Caucasian, white, and uh, French. White so, and French. Okay. Come on, come on that level. Uh, don't know any. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, but I know how to say where's the bathroom or where's my pants in Spanish. Okay. Donde oh. esta pantalones? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's important. <laughs> that's, that's very important. important. Yeah, especially in, you know, Alabama. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, what's your, your ambitions and passions? So, uh, this might come as a surprise, but I want to shoot movies. Okay. So, um, I just shot my first short film for this HBO mm -hmm. um, competition. And yeah, it was about three to five minutes long. So I write, produce, shoot movies. So I work behind the camera and in front of the camera. So my goal this okay. year is to go back to my hometown of Memphis. Uh, we have so many talented people there. Um, and then shoot my first feature. Probably make it about an hour. And I'm putting aside a five to $10,000 budget to shoot it. So. Okay, that's what's up. Good for you. That's yeah. awesome. Courtney, what about you? I have always been into music my entire life. Whenever I was... 10 or 11 I sat down and I taught myself how to play the piano mm -hmm. and then I taught myself how to sing so I've always been into singing so I'm hoping I can push that if like I grow the balls to actually get there because it's intimidating singing in front of a lot of people it it's is, very right? it makes you very vulnerable <clears throat> uh -huh. but I like to think I can but we all practice like at home behind closed doors yeah, like yeah. Who, who do you practice when you sing like who do you practice like what song could like that you sing to Easy. Um, I sing a lot of country. I like Sheryl Crow. Sheryl Crow. Okay. Miley Cyrus. I love her. I'm actually <laughs> obsessed with her. Okay. Uh, Demi Lovato. Um, what else do I sing? Y'all know I be. I just Cheryl go around Crow. singing a lot of stuff. Anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah, you can put anything. her. Give her on headphones. Give her on headphones, Candice. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Go she ahead can actually sing. sing. She, she can actually sing. Really good. Yeah, she can sing. Really good. Yeah, yeah, she can sing. Oh, really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, God, she can sing, man. What yeah, she I can sing for real. Just don't ask me to sing with her. <laughs> I know the nerves thing can get to you, but we encourage you to keep going because you never know what's going to happen from that. You yeah, know, exactly, yeah. you, you mentioned Cardi B earlier. Cardi, a lot of people 
for for them, they she started on a reality show, but she was doing her thing before that. Keep going. You have a really nice voice. Pretty voice. Okay. All right, Corey. Y'all are like angels. Okay. Y'all are so nice. G- Gus. <laughs> what up, man? What's your what? What you about the Wall really Street? Are. What's your what's oh, your? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get into all kinds of things. Me and Jeremiah here, we're both pretty big into the, like the fitness scene. Okay. You know, we're working with the fitness company. We okay. got our own supplements coming out, all that good stuff. And I also kind of want to get into the acting scene a little yeah, bit more. I but I'm gonna that. have to move out west to get into all that because yeah. right now I'm in Florida. Uh huh. So I'm gonna have to make some big decisions here soon. Well, you guys, both of you two have like a great energy about yeah. you. Really ambitious, go get oh, yeah. a type of feel Always, about man. it, man. And and I see you. Y'all got that look too, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. And, and, yeah, and, yeah, and they yeah, do yeah, another sure. episode of Superman the movie, bro. You got that. I was waiting like for my turn to come around. I was like, yeah, fitness, gyms, all that, and also being the next Superman. Yeah, you did it. Don't know what it is now, man. Okay. All right. What's up, brother? Kirk, what up, man? Same thing with him, pretty much. Just the whole acting thing also music with like mastering engineering stuff like that mm. but honestly i want to start hosting stuff like y'all do you for do real do, like, I, I just want to pick people's brains to be real okay. with y'all and okay. just, but that's the main thing i want to start hosting i want okay. to shows radios anything like that i just don't know what door to open yet okay to be honest. put those headphones on kirk and then uh interview kodai real quick right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. live and direct, direct, direct. it's sway in the morning right, right. here on shape 40 <laughs> go ahead tell us find out let, let us find out what his passions are go ahead leave that direct Go ahead. Yo, 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 what up? What up? Code out from Florida, Bama Shore. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. It's an honor to be here. I'm so blessed. So, uh, let's yeah, get man, it started. Lights, man. You're killing it, man. You look like a porcupine and stuff. You know, see, see. you know, when you got it, you got it. Like I said, you know, I'm really passionate about fashion, obviously, okay. the way I look, the way I dress. So, I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to start something like that. You know, maybe my own talk show TV host. Okay, you know, I see. Something like that. Hey, I see you. Hey, so you from a small town, South Carolina, ain't it? Yeah. Where, small where, town, where, South Carolina. South Cacolac. That's South how you say it down there. South Cacolac. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What part? What part? Uh, Westminster, small town, about nor- 10 minutes north of Clemson. So go Tigers. Oh, yeah. that's why I'm going to have to cut you off because I'm a Miami Hurricane fan. We're going to ACC. <laughs> okay. okay. But- <laughs> yeah, take them to commercial break after that. Go ahead, man. All right, man. Good job, man. You got a future, bro. You, you know, summertime, we're going to be doing a lot of summer stock stuff type events with MTV, man. Yeah. They should throw, hey, who, who's here from MTV over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's get him on some spring, uh, not spring, some summertime activities there. For real. Uh, yeah? No? Nah? Yeah, y'all just die. Y'all got the fake. That's the fake black time. Yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know, I know that smile. I know that smile. All right. Hey, well, first of all, July 9th. That's when the... Uh, July 9th. July 9th. July 9th. July 9th. Season 2 is popping, right? Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Yes. And we and we coming in hard. Y'all coming in hard? Coming in hard. Whoa. Full throttle. Whoa. Full throttle. Hello. Okay. All right. Okay. July 9th. thought season 1 was good. This is going to be crazy. Nothing. All right. Be all right. Away by season two. Okay. Floor Bama Short cast are all here, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you okay. Man, good job, man. This family have to be. I know. I love it. Congratulations. Yes. Yes, Seriously. Man. Yeah. Go off so. and be great. And, and if you ever get any backlash from any people about what you're doing, you smile in their face and say thank you for caring. Because yeah, all that exactly. means is they're paying attention to what you're doing. All right? They're watching, mm-hmm. they watching you, okay? I feel like that's the best part of this coming back season two because, like, Heather B was talking about, she was saying, like, how, you know, they only had, like, one season together. With us, now we're going into the second season. And now yeah. people see how we've actually accepted each other mm-hmm. despite how different we are as people and how much they drive me absolutely insane. Yeah. <laughs> you begin to start accepting that. And I feel like that's where everybody's going to really fall in love with us again because mm-hmm. it just shows, like, how everybody acts in a situation like this, you wow, know, you have dope. to get through it. Yeah, okay. and you all are good. Y'all are gonna grow up, you know, and more uh, and grow more. Y'all gonna, like I said, Julie and I have been friends twenty something years later. Y'all are gonna get married and have kids and do stuff. Remember this time, you yeah. know, enjoy each other's company and stay friends more than anything. You know, you having a special experience right now. Enjoy it. All you right, know, we wish you the best. Give them a round of applause. Yeah. Floor Bama Shore Cash, July 9th on July MTV. 9th. Uh, we want to thank Jason Mitchell. Too. Yeah, uh, shout you know, out to him. You know him from the shy. You know him from uh, the um, NWA story. Yeah, uh, Detroit. Uh, but now he's in the new movie Superfly. I'm um, coming out on the 13th. Yeah, June Man, 13th. In Atlanta too. No okay. side. Okay. All right. That's what's up. You see? You see that? You see that? I gotta get y'all on TRL too. So we gotta talk yes. to somebody and get y'all on to do TRL. Okay. All right. Um. And then uh, tomorrow show. Who we got? OQ. 
stopping by as well Ooh, as Nick. Oh, we didn't hear you the first time. Okay, what you say? Speak up. Take your shirt off. Corey Hardrick <laughs> is going to be stopping by as well as Nick Grant. Okay, Nick hey. Grant. All right. Um, that's the MC that we helped catapult his career. Now Absolutely. he's starting to um, blow up. I want to thank y'all for coming through. Yeah. Okay? Have fun. Thank y'all for we'll, we'll be watching. We'll be watching, all right? Okay. Yeah.